Hi there YouTubers and weavers. It has been quite a while since I've done a video. I just wasn't in the mood to mess with the loom for quite a while, so I took a month off. Anyways, I'm back at the loom again at the uh, Louette Spring and I'm putting on some acrylic yarn to do another one of those prayer shawls for um, a group at my church. And I'm going to do a couple of them. I'm putting on a seven yard warp. <coughs> it's cheap acrylic yarn that I got at Walmart. This stuff, Red Heart, um, Super Saver Jumbo. Cheap stuff, but it's acrylic and that's exactly what the church group wants. Easily washed. So that's what I'm doing. The pattern that I'm doing is called um, it's an eight shaft M's and W's. So let's see if I can, hopefully you can see this. So here's my threading pattern. And if you look right here, it goes up, down, up, down, creates an M. And then next to it is a down, up, down, up, creates a W. In the threading. So it has an 1 through 8, then 7, 6, 5, 6, 7, and then 8 through 1. That's the M. Next to it is the W. 8 down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, and then 1 through 8 creates a W. So that's the pattern. Hopefully you can see why it's called M's and W's, and it's an H half pattern. And the other thing I want to show you is something I did years ago on the various shafts of my loom as I'm threading to help, <coughs> to help myself uh, push the right heddles over and put the threads through the correct heddles. And I caught myself making a mistake about uh, five minutes ago and I got to thinking, you know, that's something that this solved. Had I not done this years ago, I never would have caught this mistake. So I'm going to move the camera in a little bit closer and show you what I did and how I caught it. Okay, if you look right here, you'll see these green marks on each of my 12 shafts. Those marks, those of you that have learned this and not everyone learns this stuff anymore. Those are the Roman numerals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, not everybody uses Roman numerals anymore. Why do I use Roman numerals? Because this is a rounded surface. I'm going to move you over toward the middle a little bit. There we are. And up a little bit. So this is a rounded small surface and it would have been difficult to write say the number two which has got a curve in it or the number three which has got a curve in it but Roman numerals are all straight marks probably because they used to carve them into stone it was easier carving straight marks than curves. Anyways so I put I numbered each of my shafts 1 through 12 in three different places, one over there, one in the middle, one over there at that end, with Roman numerals. Now, a little while ago I started to pull heddles over like this. Hopefully you can see that, yep. And I started to, to thread the first one, like this, and then I looked down and I saw that I was on number 7, and I realized that, you know what, I should have been a number eight. So I had to go over and get another handle and bring it over. I caught my mistake. If I had just been looking at shafts like this with no numbers on them, I never would have spotted the fact that I had not pulled over a handle for the correct shaft. So by having those numbers there, I caught a mistake. Don't know what 
how your looms are set up, but if you have the ability to take a marking pen and put numbers on your shafts where you're looking at them, I think that's a really helpful thing to have. I'm glad I did that a couple of years ago because I would have had a serious threading mistake in this project had I not had the numbers readily visible. So we'll just take a quick look at what I'm weaving as I'm weaving it. Again, this is that uh, M's and W's prayer shawl that I was showing you the tie up for. I really should have done this at 8 inch per inch instead of 10, but I don't have a reed that's 8 inch per inch that's wide enough to do this silly thing. So I did it at 10. There we are, that's one full repeat of the pattern, which basically is that little chunk from there to there. Well, YouTubers, I know that some of you probably watched my videos back in August and when I was doing this uh, V-shaped shawl, and you never saw the finished product because it took me forever to finish it. It's one of the things I don't like about V-shaped shawls is walking around the loom back and forth doing each thread. Anyways, so it did, did get finished, um, and my wife has worn it a few times, it's, it's her shawl, but she doesn't like to come on camera. So I've asked my girlfriend here to model it for you. You can see it's got twisted fringes, and it's your standard V shawl, very slight variation in color because of the thing, but see that a little better when this young lady turns around and you can see I did that kind of extra V at the bottom there I hope but anyways there's the shawl finally done and I thank my model here for showing it to you maybe we'll try this one more time just a little closer so here's the shawl nice and close up. You can see that extra V right like that at the back. It goes down instead of coming to a point like this it goes back up. Anyways I think it's pretty nice looking. 